Today, I'm talking about the Inklings Literary Society, but not that one. Welcome back to Candlewick Library. I'm Cheryl. As I said in the intro, I'm talking about the Inklings Literary Society, but this isn't the one that you've heard of that was in Oxford, England with all of those great writers. In a recent video, I talked about how I had ended the book club that I've been a part of for many years and wanted to try something new. I talked to my mom about it and we really both wanted to do something where we were reading books together, but we were also talking about our writing because she's been writing children's books for many years. She hasn't done anything with them. She hasn't sent them anywhere. She's written some really cute rhyming books about stories from her childhood that they're, they're really great. And I want to help encourage her to find a place to send them and try to do something with them. And she also has a series of stories that she has made up for years now with my daughters. Whenever they spend the night, she tells them these special stories that all go together. She hasn't written them down. My oldest daughter has tried to write down some of them that she remembers. And I would love it if my mom would write these down and make something out of them because she is a great writer and they're so cute. And I've also been writing my whole life and I've written quite a few stories that I never did anything with and they're not good enough to do anything with. I wrote the mystery coding and puzzle book for my daughter's school cryptology course last year and I'm currently writing book two of that. I also don't know if it'll ever be published mainstream or if it's just something very specific to what we were doing in school but I've been writing my whole life and I thought it would be really fun if we could talk about books we were reading, but also talk about our writing, bounce ideas off each other and encourage each other. And then also have a religious aspect to it where we're talking about religion and we're watching things together and we're reading books together and we're just really discussing things because my mom is my best friend. She and I have so much in common. When we get together, we never stop talking. Well, except unless we're watching something, but even then we'll pause sometimes to talk about it. So I went to her with the idea of being like the Inklings and how they would get together in The Eagle and the Child and they would talk about their books and they would bounce ideas off each other of what they were writing and I'm sure they talked religion and novels and stuff as well. And a few years ago, my mom and I went on a trip to England together and we actually went to Oxford and we ate at The Eagle and the Child. And so we also have this connection to it. One day I was on the, the shop, a fine quotation that I've talked about before and I saw that she had the sticker, the Inklings Literary Society sticker, and that she also had mugs that had that on it. And I just thought, I really want to do that. And I want to call it that and have that connection and have them as our mentors and to give us kind of a theme to our literary society. And so she loved the idea. And so that is what we're doing starting in 2024. And that's why I have this little sticker of the two girls. And so we each picked three books. We're only going to do it every other month. And then we picked one nonfiction book that we'll be reading throughout the year. If we finish it early, we'll pick something else. So in January, it was my choice, and I picked The Scarlet Pimpernel by Baroness Orksy. I have wanted to read this for a long time, and last year I purchased it, but I never got around to it, so I decided that that would be the first book we read this year. I know that my mom has loved the Scarlet Pimpernel movie, and I think I've, I've seen it, but it's been a long time. And so it's gonna be really fun to be able to read it together and then watch the movie and compare and contrast and talk about it. In March, my mom chose Before We Were Yours by Lisa Wingate. And then in May, we will also be going to her house again for A Memory of Lilacs by Hazel Gaynor, one of my mom and I's favorite authors. And then in July, we're gonna read The Extraordinary Deaths of Mrs. Kipp by Sarah Brunz. It sounds like with this that a girl is put in charge of writing an obituary for a woman who's not dead yet. And it sounds like she's gonna probably be teaching this girl a lot of lessons. And it sounds like it'd be something great. In September, we're gonna be back at my mom's house for Once Upon a Prince by Wright Rachel Hawk. This is a Hallmark movie my mom really loves. And so she, she saw the book one day when we were in a bookstore and she wants to read that. And then in November, we will be reading a mystery book. I don't know for sure what it's going to be yet, but I did see an author I, I like announced that she was going to be writing a Nutcracker themed book and that it will be coming out later this year. So when that comes out, I will post about it. And I thought that would be really fun to read a book that was Nutcracker themed right before Christmas because then we would be getting together in December. So we plan on reading a book one month and then getting together the next month to talk about that book, maybe watch the movie if there is one. And then our year long read is Truth Changes Everything by Dr. Jeff Myers. I talked about that in my yearly wrap up as one of my favorite nonfiction books of the year. And my mom also got a copy for free at that homeschool convention. And I know that she would like it. And since I wanted to reread it, I, I thought that would be a good one. And so we have talked about getting together for every other month book part of the literary society. And then 
the months that we're not doing that, we will get together to talk about the Jeff Myers book and anything we're writing and all of that. So I'm really excited to do this with my mom and have it have kind of a different feel than a book club. I will make a video at the end of the year updating you on how it went, if we've enjoyed it, the things that we've done. And uh, I would love to know if you've ever done anything like this. 